Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video. So today is a business video. Today's video is sponsored by Wix.com. So shout out to Wix. And yeah, so today's video is about how to make an e-commerce website. And today I literally show you guys step by step how I did that. And let me tell you guys, take it from a girl who has paid people to make an e-commerce site for her like for me like i pay people like literally almost a thousand dollars and i wish i would have like tried myself this way before before you know what i'm saying paying somebody basically a thousand dollars to do what i could have did and like i said i made it like i i thought it was going to be super super complicated but it really 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 wasn't that complicated wix has over 80 templates and the templates really help you to guide you and make it you know what i'm saying make it like a, such a smoother process like i thought i was gonna be super stressed out but i really wasn't and one thing that's also another thing that's great which i liked is you're allowed to like say you edit some stuff on your site you can save it and you can come back again and edit like the next day or next week or say you want to just get started and just like editing and designing certain stuff and you have a photo shoot coming up and like you say you can still design what you want to design then have your little photo shoot and then add your photos later like so what i recommend doing is click the link down below sign up with your email and then kind of just like follow me kind of step by step like just to kind of help you help guide you along like i said click the link down below like sign up with your email you can sign up with your email facebook whatever and you can just kind of look at what i'm doing and then kind of just or come back to the video whichever you feel is best for you but trust me if you was like me you was freaking out and you thought that making a website for your business for your online store was going to be super super complicated it's not as complicated as you think and yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you to wix again and yeah let's get straight into it okay so first you're gonna press get started and you're gonna sign up with your email or your facebook whichever you prefer and it's gonna say what kind of website should this be i chose online store because that's what i'm doing so you have two choices you can let wix's addy create a website for you or you can create your own website with the editor and I prefer to do with the editor so I'm gonna click edit a template and it's gonna take me to the page that has over 80 templates Wix has over 80 templates for you to choose from for you to make one of these templates into your own to help guide you through the process which I love so they had an area obviously beauty and wellness or fashion and clothing for all my girls who are kind of girly and have girly businesses like me Wix got you so I chose this one. I viewed it first and I loved it. I loved how it looked. I already had lashes there. Everybody went th with the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. So I was looking at the site. I'm like, perfect. I love it. It looks super cute. Now let me get into changing it and making it my own. So first I started with the pages, the main pages. I already knew what I wanted all my pages to be. I wanted it to be a shop page. I changed the hair extension page to lashes. I changed the lashes page to lip gloss. I already knew everything, how I wanted it. The vision was in my head and I was just able to apply it here. So I deleted this to accessories because I didn't need an accessories page. You can delete or add or remove anything you need to do. You can do it here. So once I was good with that, I decided to start changing the background, start designing and making it my own. So I went to image because I was going to change the background and I you can go to upload media but since obviously I had already added my stuff previously for the video to make it go a little faster so it wouldn't be so long all you have to do is drag your image or add your image and boom you can change your background so you'll be seeing me change a lot of background so don't worry just in case you didn't catch that I'm going to change this background as well even though these pictures are really cute I don't want these pictures I want my own pictures so I went to site files like I said you would upload you know upload media because you'll be uploading a new photo and you would click change background and boom just like that the background is changed I changed the other side I wanted to change the background as well to a picture that I had 
So this picture is the one I wanted to use. I wanted to adjust it. You can adjust it, crop it, whatever you like, you can do it. And it was adjusted. Everything fit inside the lines and it was perfect and boom. Now I got my little cute two pictures here. Then I wanted to move on to changing the design. So I wanted to change the color because I wanted kind of pink. Like a, like a like a light light pink, not like the pink that they already had in gray. So I started changing the, um, the background colors, and as you can see, there's a, a large color palette you can change. You can you can go and add your own colors if you want to. You can even change the shop now button, which I love. Like you can everything is changeable. Like you can change everything. You can edit everything and make it into your own, which I loved. So I'm changing this shop now button too, changing the color. I wanted it to be gray, so I'm kind of playing around with the grays and I found the color that I wanted. You can change the text, everything you can change. So I wanted a darker gray, so I went for a darker gray. And then, as you can see, I came back to the top because I was like, hmm. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep that text that they had, the beautiful, glamorous, confident. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it. It was kind of cute. So I was kind of playing around and figuring out what I wanted to do. So I was changing the colors and I was thinking about, hmm, should I change the font? Should I change the colors? I changed the colors, but then you're going to see. One thing about this, I was playing around a lot and kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. And I decided to change the image again. I changed the background. And if you want me to do a separate video, I will on how to kind of edit and all this stuff like as far as like images for your website. I'll be glad to do a video like that. Just let me know in the comment section. So I decided to delete this beautiful glamorous confident and I wanted my picture to be there, which was a lot better. And then as you can see, I'm going to move the shop lashes down, you know, to kind of help it be aligned with the rest of the page. And like I said, I love that everything you can move it around. Nothing is stuck there. Everything you can change it to however you like. And look, just like that, my website is already coming together. And it's not like, and I literally just started. So there's a second slide. So this slide, even though this girl is cute or whatever, I didn't want her there. So I did the same thing I did before by changing the background, clicking change slide background. And I was going to add my own image which I'm going to image, adding my own image, and boom, just like that, look at my new beautiful image. So now going back to the shop page, I was gonna manage the products, because now that I finished designing, I can focus on the products. So there's a, a whole bunch of products, which you're gonna see in a second, and you can make the choice of whether you wanna delete the products, or you know, just add, You know, as you can see, there's a new product button right there, so you can delete it, you can duplicate it, whatever you like. So as you can see, there's a lot of products here. So what I chose to do was click the product. And I decided to remove the image that was there and add my own image. And you can add images, you can add videos. Wix is very versatile. It allows you to have a lot of fun in creating it and making it into your own. So like I said, you would upload your media, like, you know, your picture, and it, it would be added to your site file. So this is my image that I chose to have. I chose to add it to the lashes page, not the hair extension page, in the collections, all this stuff. You can change all of that. So I decided to change, obviously change it to my name, the name of the name that I have for my products. And this was the drama lashes. So I decided to change to the drama lashes. And excuse me if I sound so stuffed. Guys, my allergies have been berserk. But as you can see, I changed the price. And I love this. You guys see how the discounts, they automatically apply discounts. If you need a 5% discount, it will automatically change the price to 5%. You don't got to calculate it and figure it out, which I love. And everything is there. Everything for you to do with your products is there. And then I eventually did everything else off camera, adding the rest of my products. And this is kind of like the final result. I didn't need to show you guys me doing every single thing. So here I was changing the background as you can see the background text and I'm going to show you on lip gloss on the lip gloss page how I did it. So what I did same thing change site background to change that area that gray is kind of boring. So I wanted an acute picture to be there to kind of liven the page up. I click change background and boom just like that I changed it. So. Just like on the other page, you can change the text, you can make the text bigger, make it smaller, change it to blue, black, yellow, 
whatever your heart desires, you can change it and make it into your own. So I was kind of playing around with it, playing with the font, kind of seeing what I wanted to do. But then eventually towards the end, you're going to see I decided to have no text there anyway. I decided to have no text there anyway, but I was just kind of playing around to see what I was capable of doing. And like I said, I end up just deleting the text and I like the page just like that much better. So I went back to the dashboard, as you can see, and you're going to see this thing pop up saying you haven't connected a payment method. Customers will not be able to buy from your store. So I clicked that add payment method and it took me to this page where it says accept payments and they have accept credits and debit cards with Wix. This is the recommended option. So I connected. It was very simple. Before you connect, you know, you just have to say, you know, do you sell any of these restricted and pro prohibited products? And I did not. So I was able to click no, I do not. And I was able to continue and boom. As you're going to see after it's done loading, Wix payments connected. So that was great. And you're eventually going to have to upgrade your site, you know, to be able to accept payments. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a minute. But what I went to next was I wanted to add PayPal because a lot of people are like me. I love PayPal. Sometimes I don't feel like typing in my debit and credit card. PayPal is safe. So I just decided to also add PayPal as a payment option. So I added my PayPal email, so obviously the payments become to my PayPal, to my personal um, business PayPal. So I added my PayPal email address, and then I pressed connect, and it took me to PayPal, and boom, just like that, PayPal connected. So after your PayPal is connected, the next step, as you can see right there, set up regions. That's going to take you to shipping and fulfillment. And basically, obviously, you need to figure out the price for how much your stuff are going to ship for. So Wix is going to show you a list of options. You can do free shipping, flat rate, rate by weight, rate by price, rate by product. Or you can connect to USPS calculated um, for a calculated rate. So, you know, it's up to you, whichever one you prefer, whichever one works best for you. So I chose rate by price. And my rate by price, I decided to do if they spend less than $49, they'll pay $5 shipping. If they spend more than $50, their shipping will be free. So that's what I chose. And I chose to name mine Express Shipping because I usually ship things pretty fast. So and that obviously will be the goal to continue to ship things fast. So on the safe side, you always put just three to five business days because sometimes things can happen with the post office. So yeah, you also have an option of, you know, if you want to add another shipping option, as you can see this option right here, you can if you choose to. I didn't need to, so that was fine. I was good with that and I pressed save and I moved on to international. So international, you can, you know, add specifics of where international you want to ship. That's up to you. You can play around and figure that out. I end up choosing, I believe, rate by price. Yeah, I chose rate by price and for international and I chose to do $15 and I chose to put standard shipping. You can name the shipping option whatever you want and I chose to put five to seven business days. I may change it later on, but this is just something just for now. And I chose to do offer free shipping if they pay over $100 and boom, just like that, you have done your shipping and fulfillment. So for this next step, I had to type in sales tax because you need to do your sales tax. So they automatically do it for you. Get automatic tax with Avarla. I don't know, really know how to pronounce it, but I added my name, my last name, my address, obviously for your state. Every state has different tax, but they will help and, you know, fine. You don't have to figure it out yourself. They will do it for you. It says, look, completing automatic tax setup. And boom, just like that, it was created. I went to manage because I just was just nosy and wanted to know how much. And for New York, it was 8.875, as you can see. Okay, guys, so now that we have set up sales tax, chose a shipping solution, connected to a secure payment provider, the next step is going to be to upgrade your plan to a premium plan and to connect to your domain, as you can see. So you're going to want to click upgrade. And you can choose whichever best fits for you, as you can see, business VIP business basic once you go through all the proper steps it will say congratulations your site is now premium and my site is now premium and we can move forward to connecting to a domain and this is all these steps are necessary to in order to start accepting payments 
so it's going to load after you've done everything and now you can start getting your branded domain so I already have a domain which is luxpinklashes.com so that's what I went forward and typed in and I was able to get my domain connected to my new Wix site which was perfect so once I connected my domain the fun part was back again I was able to preview my site before publishing it and kind of you know just be in awe of what I created and I was just absolutely in love as you can see like just absolutely love it everything looks so good I went to my lip gloss page to kind of see how it all came together my about page came up beautifully my contact us page was also like just loved it like just absolutely loved it and I went back to the home page I want to show you guys that you can switch to mobile to kind of see how your you know how your um, website will look when your customers order like through their phone which you know it shows you right now so you can kind of get a preview mode of that as well and then after feel free to publish and it's gonna say congratulations your site is now published and live so as you guys can see that wasn't that bad right it wasn't too difficult once again thank you to wix and my video will my my video my site will be published one thing oh i think i think i should mention you can unpublish your site publish it so like if you don't want it to be shown right now it doesn't have to be shown right now you know if you don't want it to that's another good thing so even though i published it but then i unpublished it because i want to add more photos and stuff to my website and i have like new products and all these things coming through so once all my stuff get done then my site will be fully published to the world for you guys to purchase and shop if you want to support my business so let me know in the comment section you know how it works for you guys how setting up your e-commerce site works and yeah i appreciate you guys appreciate you guys for watching love you guys so much bye guys i mean the sides it's really cute i have stuff in it, it has a compartment it has a whole lot of tic tacs tied 